You too. It's your favorite oddball, Ryan Kelly. All right, today, I have a very, very special surprise for you. I put together my top five favorite Teen Wolf scenes just for you. In no particular order. I'm going to repeat that. In no particular order. I don't want you guys slamming me in the comments thinking one is better than five or three. Okay? It just, I, five. I got five for you, all right? I did this for you. 2021, here we go. Let's go. Enjoy the video. Okay, to start things off, scene number one. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this, but actors are conceited. We're full of ourselves. We like to look in the mirror, you know, yada, yada, yada. So I figured I'd go along with those stereotypes and choose the first scene of Paris, right? I mean, what other way to start it off than to show a little bit of me, right? <laughs> All right, check it out. Yeah, that's me on fire. So this is the first scene you actually see Paris as the hellhound, like his full transformation. Um, I'm obviously heading to, or I'm in Eichen House trying to save Lydia, trying to be a badass, get to see some of my powers. Um, I got fangs, I got different colored eyes, I got claws, I can charred head to toe with, with lava cracks. Um, and that actually took me three and a half hours to get into that makeup, and it would take me an hour and a half to get out. So in the beginning, that's how long it would take every time. Towards the end of, of the show, we started to get it down, um, knocked off a couple hours here and there. But, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I had a lot of time in the special effects to make the trailer. Listen, I'll never get over the fact. So when you're filming things like this, obviously you just see me. I'm just wearing the costume, or in that case, I'm just in makeup. But when you actually see the special effects, like the light, the fire, the eyes, the, you know, the smoke coming off, it, it's surreal. It's so cool. It's so weird because you envision it, but it's never, it's never as cool. Or at least for me, I'm such a visual person. So when I get to see it on screen, it's like, it's so much cooler than what I thought in my head. I mean, like right here, watch. I, I set myself on fire with him to get him to stop holding me. I didn't know what that was gonna look like. Boom! I think it's pretty bitching. Okay, so, I lied to you. That actually wasn't my first scene. I just, you know, it's a, it's a pretty cool scene. But it leads into, later at the episode, the scene I actually wanted to show you, and that's this, all right? Parrish is coming down the hall. Look at that back. Look at those muscles. I used to have huge muscles. I don't know what happened. I miss those days. But it's one of my favorite scenes because it's such a cool shot of my back with, you know, the, the lava veins just pulsing as I'm walking slow. Parrish? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I love this. Get the mountain ash. Same thing right here. When I when I come through the barrier, you know, and you you burn it off, again, you have no idea what it's gonna look like. You're kind of just envisioning something, and I gotta give Team with credit. They always made it way cooler than what I actually had in my head. So I love this scene. Okay, but why this is my number one favorite scene to start off. Spring it right out of the walls. Again, it's me, it's Parrish, it's pretty badass, but I'm saving the day. You got Styles, you got Lydia. Lydia's freaking out because she's about to scream. Um, and Styles is carrying her out of Viking House, and she's, you know, pleading for him to leave because she doesn't want her to scream and hurt Styles. Well, just in the nick of time, Parrish comes, pulls Styles back, grabs onto Lydia, takes the full blast, saves the day. I mean, what's wrong with being a hero? Nothing, it's pretty cool. It's just such a cool scene. She screams right into Paris as I hug her. I take the blast. Otherwise, the whole building would come down. I'd like to think like that. Maybe the whole world. How about that? That's how cool Paris is. The whole world would have exploded if I didn't grab her and take that blast. And then, of course, it's the superhero slow-mo scene where I come out carrying her, walking slow. It's a pretty badass scene. Number one favorite scene. Season 5, episode 16, Parish Badass Saves the Day. Okay, this next scene doesn't actually make my top 5, but it's so good I have to throw it in here as like a little bonus. Dylan Sprayberry, Liam, delivers a line, watch. Nope. Fell in a hole. I fell in a hole. I have no idea why, but the first time I watched this episode and I saw him deliver that line, I almost peed myself laughing so hard. And now, every time I see this episode, I can't help but laugh. Dylan Sprayberry deserves an award for the way he delivered that line. He crushed it. It's comedic genius. 
Okay, my number two favorite scene that I chose of my top five is from season six, episode five. It's honestly probably my favorite scene in all of Teen Wolf, especially visually. It's such a powerful scene. Hey. It's Lydia looking for Styles. Styles is missing, obviously, you guys know. I'm not trying to give any spoilers, but at this point, if you're watching this video, you should know that. Um, and so she's searching for him. And at a certain point, she leans against a wall, and Styles is leaning against the wall, and they're both missing each other. They're missing home, they're missing. It's just such a powerful scene. This is why, as Parrish and Lydia, you know, uh, Marish, I can't ever get mad at. At, at Stidia fans. I mean, uh, this this scene alone is my favorite scene in Team Wolf. And if there wasn't such a thing as Stidia, I wouldn't, this scene wouldn't exist. I, I, I understand, I get it, you guys. He's, I get it. You know, but I also like screen time and Marish was pretty cool and you know, the more Marish, the more time I was on screen. So, there is that. Watch this, look how powerful it is. Holland crushes the scene. Oh, she's so strong in this. Such a cool visual. My favorite scene in Team right here. The second I watched it, I, mean, I, was, I was like blown away. Two, two amazing actors, one great scene. Okay, now we know what you're thinking. Uh, I already, I already thought this ahead. Ryan, what, what, what was your favorite scene to shoot? What is Paris's favorite scene? I listen. All right, if you really want to know, I'll throw in a scene. It doesn't make the top five but it was my personal favorite scene of Parrish, all right? And that is a scene with Arjun. Roll it! Arjun is stuck down in a sewer with a rebarb through his stomach, and Parrish is trying to save him. Arjun is basically telling him to give up that he wants to die and that life is over. I mean, he's, he's gone through bed, tons of loss. Of he lost world. his daughter. Um, kind of had a tough life. I can't do that either. But um, that's why I think it's such a powerful scene. Parrish is basically to trying me. to save a dying man. I know and, you're hurt um, and you're tired. Definitely a man who deserves to, to be everything saved. You've got Arjun is one of my me. favorite characters. His storyline is amazing. Um, if there was the more ball, of sir. Team Wolf, I would have loved to see more Parrish and, and Arjun. Maybe getting into some trouble or try to solve some things or you know, fix some situations. I think it's such a cool storyline. Um, Arjun's whole story is, is really cool. In you fact, when I first got on Team Wolf, I talked Adrenaline. about this. Parrish was originally supposed to be a hunter, so it could have been some See, really cool, cool, cool things, but uh, you don't look like I'm glad I have some natural ones. But this scene is angry. one of the first scenes you get to see my eyes you change color. So angry that your brain um, I remember when I got on to find out that I was, or found out that I was supernatural. I remember just asking Jeff, please just make me cool. Like, okay. give me some glowy eyes, whatever color, I'll take whatever. About you. And, uh, you know, just make me useful. I want to be cool. I want to be a badass. But Lydia told me some of it. But this was one of my favorite scenes to shoot and I know about uh, as an actor, as Parrish. I think it's just such a powerful scene. I know um, how she felt Parrish like letting Scott. Argent know that he and I knows, think she knew what was you know, he, he's cracked his shell a little bit and um, At least angry he's doing to all he can to save his life. To get the hell out of here. So Plus I love JR as a person. He's an amazing, it's talented Allison, actor and he's an even better human being. Peter, so doing this scene it. with him one on one, I will cherish it forever. Use it right now. I just want you to know how good of an actor I am, because there's really not a bar in his stomach. When I'm pulling on that, it's nothing. That is acting 101. Boom! All right, don't, don't. this wasn't top five. It's just the bonus one, okay? Parish bonus. Moving on to the next. My third scene that I'm choosing as one of my top five favorites. It's a toss-up. Listen, you can go Allison's death, or you can go Aiden's death. And for me, the twins' death scene, Woo! Watch it. So the Carver twins crush this. I mean, imagine having a twin, an identical twin. You know, they say you can feel things, you can speak without saying words, and then to lose that twin, that that significant, that person in your life and in your arms. Oh, if I watch the scene with the volume up, it'll make me cry again. I mean, it's such a powerful scene, and the Carver twins crush it. Charlie and Max are such talented actors. I mean, when, when Max Lydia falls down and, and, well, and the life goes out of him, and Charlie <laughs> left there crying on his chest. She'll believe me. I'm gonna cry right now just thinking about it. <laughs> Such a powerful scene. There's a lot of troubled things going on in Beacon Hills. I mean, uh, Teen Wolf was uh, sometimes not easy to watch. It was sad. Right here, lights go out. 
Oof. Poor Aiden. Poor, poor Aiden. And then you got Holland running over and seeing it. My third choice was a powerful choice, right? Come on. Come on. You got to agree with me. All right. We're going to four. We're going to four. You know what? We're not going to four. I lied. This is another bonus scene for the twins. Because they crushed that scene so much, I can't have them. We can't end them, them on death. That's not what's going to happen here. I'm going to show you guys when they're a badass. Season three, episode one. Watch this. Stay with me. Isaac. You got Daniel Charman playing Isaac, passing out on the back of Megan Tandy or Braden's bike. And uh, guess what two badasses are chasing them? The Carver twins. Such a cool scene. Two werewolves, you know, they're twins, so they look alike. And in this scene, they're moving together. They look, you know, it's, it's just such, it's so cool. They take their jackets off together, they throw them at the same time, and then they morph two into one? What? Badass. Right here, right when he slams his arm into his back, and that's how they morph into one to one big badass werewolf. Such a cool, cool concept. <laughs> Alright, we're getting roars here. Yep, I'd poop my pants. I'd be out of there. That's no bueno. Not for me. Alright, that was just a bonus scene. Like I said, three was the Carver twins' death. Aiden's death scene, but uh, I didn't want to end it on that. So I showed you them being a badass. When they morph together, when you see them for the first time, all right? That's what we want to remember them, not as their death scene, even though they crushed it. Okay, my fourth favorite scene. We're sticking with season three. I guess I uh, really like season three. Kind of makes sense, because that's when Paris started. This scene is Void Styles. And if you ever needed a reason to understand why Dylan O'Brien is such an amazing, talented actor, pff, watch this. Tilted. I shed one tear. Dude, That's he kills time. that scene. He's so good. Oh, no, can't crumble that Listen, there's a reason why this kid is a movie star. He's so well, good in the scene. Why he just crushes the scene? What? When he finds out why his dad. I mean, it gives. Uh, when I watch the scene, I just. You know, we overheard it, right? Hats off to him. Wow. You had no idea. Yeah, Boyd Style was one of the coolest characters I think in all of Team Wolf. You didn't tell Scott, Dylan, but you told Brian. Sure. Just made it. <laughs> so many levels. So Don't many levels. I heard it like he hears everything. But you want to know why he never told Scott? Because he knew that Scott would never forgive you. Definitely my favorite bad guy uh, of all Team Wolf would is uh, you. Boyd Styles. Peter at times. Like he redeemed himself, now. but Boyd Styles was straight evil. In the scene, he, he's amazing. Alright, so that is my fourth favorite scene Dylan O'Brien. Crushes it as Boyd Styles. Alright, before we get to number five, I gotta stretch it out a little bit. I gotta keep you guys on your toes, right? Come on, we gotta keep more content going. And because this is my YouTube, Ryan Kelly, uh, Ryan Kelly plays Parrish, so I'm gonna show you another Parrish scene, right? <laughs> Enjoy. This didn't make the top five, but this is a pretty darn good scene, alright? This is when Parrish gets set on fire. First time I kind of figure out I'm indestructible. I'm in a cop car, another cop is trying to collect the bounty on me, so he's basically killing me so he can collect five million dollars. Hey. hey! What are you doing? Five million dollars. Listen! Listen to me, I'm, I'm a deputy with the Beacon Hill Sheriff's Not to be Department. confused with five dollars. Five million, not five. I was okay? you'd be out longer. Pig? That is Lou Ferrigno Jr. And if that name sounds familiar, you're that's because his dad is Lou Ferrigno, the famous bodybuilder who went up listen, against Arnold, I don't know what you're um, who played the Hulk. Pig, listen! Lou Ferrigno Jr. is also now on CBS's SWAT, if you want to check him out. He's a super great, young, talented actor. Uh, the funny thing is he's built like his dad. So in the next scene, I come into the bullpen of the of the sheriff's station, and I beat his butt for setting me on fire. Let me tell you, in real life, I could never do that. No way. I also want you guys to know I'm a method actor. I really was zip-tied to the steering wheel of that cop car and I couldn't escape and I was trying to pull on as hard as I could and the next day I had cuts all over my wrists. I did that for you guys. You're welcome. 
But I love the ending. I love how Lou puts puts his headphones in and just watches me burn. I think it's so diabolical and evil. Um, such a cool scene. So I didn't make the top five, but it was pretty close. Okay, you guys? So we will finally move on. Here we go. Okay, my fifth and final favorite scene of Teen Wolf. Season three, episode six. It's a big one. It's a long one. We're ending with a bang, and you'll understand in a second. Roll it. It's happening to him too, isn't it? It has to be. But you got Styles. The flare on the bus. Yeah, I'll get you got it. Lydia. You got Allison. And you got Scott. Listen, the reason this made my top five. I mean, this this scene. It's one Scott? of my favorite scenes ever. It's the it 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 embodies why Teen Wolf was Scott? successful in so many ways. Listen, this scene right here is one of my favorites for one simple reason. Well, two, Scott and Styles. They are the backbone behind Teen Wolf. Their bromance, their brotherhood, their friendship is what the show really is about. The underlining, you know, it's their friendship. They're, they're, they keep the show going. I mean, it's there's a ton of other relationships, there's a ton of other things going on in Team Wolf that is amazing, but really what is the most special, in my opinion, is the bromance between Scott and Styles. And this scene embodies that. I mean, it's such a perfect scene. They both crush it. My, I love how Tyler Posey's body language in this, it's, his demeanor in it. There's he's, no hope. It's, it's, it's a powerful scene. What do you mean? I mean, he's holding a flare, no basically hope. trying to end his life because he thinks for me. the werewolf inside him should be killed to save his friends, that he's a danger to them. And Styles, his best friend, lets him know, hey, I can't live without him. Side note, I thought I edited out all the naked Tyler Hecklin stuff going on, the adult things, um, but I'm sure you guys don't mind it, so uh, I'm gonna keep it in there. That is Superman, you guys. That is Superman. Every time I try to fight back. But yeah, it's such a cool scene between the core main characters. People keep getting Allison, killed. Scott, Scott this isn't Lydia, you. Styles. All right, this is someone inside your head Teen telling Wolf. you to do this. Okay, now what if it is? What if it is just me? What if doing this is actually the best thing that I could do yeah, for everyone else? Yeah, this is else? a long scene, but you better sit back and you better enjoy this, because like I said, this is the reason Teen Wolf was successful. Hey, more shirtless Tyler Hecklin. <laughs> Should I click that out? Should I edit it out? I don't know, my bad, but guess what? I know you guys won't complain, so enjoy. You're welcome. It okay, back that to night. the scene. The night I got bitten. Don't burn yourself, I the way Scott. It was before that, you and me. All jokes aside, seriously, this it's its a really powerful Nothing. scene. Uh, they crushed this. The writing, everything. It's so powerful. We and like I said, popular. I love the relationship between these two. We weren't good at the cross. The way Jeff wrote them and the way these two actors portrayed these characters. I mean, they carried the show on their back. Yeah, I was we there to help. You know, I, I did a little bit over here, but I was more in the corner helping, you know, lifting some heavier stuff on the side. We these no two, one. they made Teen Wolf, for real. Maybe I should just Teen Wolf lasted no as long as it did because these two actors and, and the magic that they brought to camera. I mean, I could say that a lot about a lot of actors on the show, no but, one at all. but for real, the, Scott and Styles, that brotherhood, baby, that friendship, Teen Wolf. Just listen to me, okay? I mean, Scott would have never been a, a wolf without Styles making no, him go no. out, right? The yin and yang. Scott, you're my best friend. Okay, and I need you. So if you're watching this and you still don't understand why this made my top five, Scott, something is wrong friend. with you. Something is wrong with you, because this is a powerful scene. All right, so. So we're gonna do this, then. I think you're just gonna have to take me with you. And there you have it. That's my top five favorite scenes from Teen Wolf. Cue the outro. That was intense, right? Five scenes. I think you got a couple extra ones, maybe three extra ones. So eight total, nine maybe? I don't know. I lost count. Anyways, 
The point was five favorite scenes of Teen Wolf in no particular order. Again, don't murder me down in the comments, but I would like to know what your favorite scenes were. Do you agree with what my top five were? Do you think I dropped the ball on some of them? Let me know, but also make sure you like and subscribe. All right, you guys? Toodles.